Hello everyone, it's D9 here again. And I am here to show you Sculpture on Logic Pro X. I'm here with CameraSharp.com, huge shout out to Rock Canyon Studios. Sculpture is quite possibly, I know I've said this in a lot of my videos, but I'm, I'm showcasing my favorite parts of Logic first. Sculpture is quite possibly one of my favorite uh, virtual synths in Logic. And I'm going to show you why. There are many different aspects of this synthesizer that are just amazing. I'm going to start off with the factory default. Got a really cool bell sound here. There's some really cool synths here that you could use for cinematic effects, for intros, outros, layers. And the cool thing is, so you start here with a glass. And you can come over here to steel. Nylon, wood, and it's amazing. There's so much that you can do with this. There are also a lot of very, very cool factory defaults. A lot of bass in here. Victor Wooten would be proud. The cool thing about that is you can change from nylon strings more steel strings, or if you want even glass strings. And just like any other synth, you have your attack, your decay, sustain, and your release. And you have your level here. Which is really cool and you have your pickups over here that you can change and you have a really great way of really modifying that wave to give your sound that very very unique sound let's check out one of my favorite i really love these motion sequences and the warp sculptures air machine is something i've used in a lot of my songs you can see how it's following this pattern here. And you can use that right before a drop, just And it's amazing because you have so many of these different ones to choose from. And these are just a few of many. There's so many different uses for these, whether it's in the back of a drum and bass song, whether you're trying to make uh, a, a movie more cinematic. There are just so many different effects here that you can use to really make your song a lot bigger. See, like this would be perfect for a sci-fi movie. Or it could even be perfect behind some strings in a really epic song. And it's cool how you can really come through and change that, that morph chain to really whatever you want. And it's just really fun because you have the EQ here. You can really accentuate those highs, get some more lows in there. Take out the mids. So there's really a whole lot that you can do with sculpture. You have all the mallet instruments. So the capabilities are very endless with with these. It's just so many different presets in here, and along with all of the presets, there's just so much you can do right on your own.
you see that there's just so much that you can do. When you're using sculpture, the main thing, it's just like riding a bike. You're going to get better every time you do it. So you got to spend a lot of time here and learn all about the different delays. Different materials. Filters. There's just so much that you can do. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial on sculpture. Now go ahead and make an awesome song. Comment below the link. I'd love to see it. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Or maybe somebody else in the comment stream will help you out. Hope you really enjoyed this. Subscribe for more videos, camerasharp.com. And as always, a huge shout out to Rock Canyon Studios.